guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these videos, but I don't think I got a box last month. I think that's what happened. I didn't like the color. I'm doing my Julep Maven box. Yay! So this is the Riviera collection from Julep for March. It's an actual like card card. So this is the front and then the back says bring in the spring with Julep lip gloss, which I actually did not get any of the lip glosses because A, I'm not a fan of lip gloss as a whole, but B, I'm really not a fan of Julep's lip gloss formula, so it's just not something I bought into. They also have a buff lip scrub and a luxe lip conditioning treatment. I didn't get either of these products either, mainly because I have a lip scrub that I love and I have a lip treatment that I love. So I just kind of went with the colors that I really liked. Anyone who um, ha is on my Instagram or Facebook, you've already seen my current nail polish rack. My dad finally finished my custom built nail polish rack. And as I was putting polishes on it, I realized the monstrosity of the collection that I've currently generated. And so I am now only going to buy colors that I absolutely love or I'm gonna try. I am now really going to try to pare down my nail polish collection, sell off any ones that I don't really use or like, and when I get them, that when I get some that I don't really use or like, those will immediately be going to a blog sale because I literally am accumulating a lot of nail polish and it's becoming a problem. I'm also accumulating a lot of makeup, so I think it's time to do a blog sale. Let me, guys, let me know if you guys would be interested in that. As far as this collection goes, I only got six colors and I've already tried four of them and I'm already disappointed with two. So that's kind of frustrating when you get things and then you're already disappointed with. So I did get six colors. You can see some brighter and more fun and then some more like deeper blues. I'm gonna go through them all for you. As always, we'll do the quote card first. This is what the quote card looks like. It says, you know all those things you've always wanted to do? You should go and do them. So I really like that. I think it's really fitting for everybody to motivate themselves better. I'll start with the It Girl Trio because it just happens to be in front of me. These are the three It Girl polishes. You have a cream orange, a cream blue, and then a really pretty kind of deeper green with a little bit of shimmer. I am wearing the orange, you can see, and the blue right there. And I'm wearing the green on this hand. Do not judge the horrible nail polish. I have not cleaned them up yet. I literally just finished doing them. So I'll tell you guys my thoughts. The orange, well I think this is a gorgeous, beautiful, like, cantaloupe color. I was at three coats and still not opaque, and that does not impress me. It also is coming off a little more coral on my nails than in the bottle. I wish it had been a little more true to this, because I really loved the idea of this melony color, and it's just a little bit brighter on the nails. So this was the first one I was disappointed with. And that one's called Princess Grace. Just so you know, the, the little melon color is Princess Grace. Now the blue, which is Margaret, is gorgeous. It's a beautiful periwinkle blue color. I'm wearing it on these two fingers. It was opaque pretty much in one coat. I did do a second coat just for like seamlessness. I did a second coat just so it looked like perfect, but it was pretty much opaque in one coat. I love this color. I think it's stunning and it's actually very different. It's actually very different than anything I already own in my collection, which honestly, because I own so many juleps, that's really hard to find. And the last, of course, is a color that I can't not love because A, I love shimmery things, and B, I love green. This is Lizanne. This is a gorgeous mermaid green with shimmer. I really love it. I'm wearing it over here. Again, ignore the horrible nail polish job. But you can see the, the light really gives off that shimmer, and it's really pretty. Then I have one from Classic with a twist, which is the red, which is Miriam. This is a gorgeous cream red. I don't know, I don't know how this one's gonna wear. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks really pretty. It looks like a beautiful kind of pure red cream. So I'm really excited to try Miriam. And the last two are from the Bombshell line. The first one is Tanya. I wish they had spelled it T-A-N-Y-A because then it would officially be my name. But it's a gorgeous, again, like mermaid, seafoam tealy green with like beautiful blue green sparkles in it. It's stunning. This is probably my favorite. I think this one is truly stunning and I haven't even worn it yet. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And the last one is also from the Bombshell and this is uh, Lilu. And it is a gorgeous yellow buttercream. And you guys know I don't wear a lot of yellows and I really was excited for this one because it just was so up my alley. First off, I love creams. Second off, I don't wear a lot of yellow, but when I can find a yellow cream that's so pretty, it's something that I had to get. However, I went on three coats here and it's still not opaque. It's very streaky. I just, and I know cream formulas are hard to hit. I get it. I have a ton of them, but three coats? 
three coats and still not opaque. Like the orange was three coats and it was opaque. This is three coats and still not opaque, still streaky. Really, really disappointed in this color. That's it. This is probably the quickest julep unboxing I've ever had. Normally I have like all of the pieces and everything to go through and swatches and whatever. This was just simply six, you know, very normal toned nail polishes for me. There wasn't a whole lot to say about them. I would definitely say the hits for me out of this line were Margaret and Lizanne that I've tried. These two are just really pretty. That periwinkle blue, like I said, is just so unique in itself. If you didn't pick up L Margaret, I highly suggest you go and get it. I think it's a blue that almost everyone can wear and it looks really, really pretty and it works really, really well. So that's it for this March Julep haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Like, it's, it's drying and almost like feels cakey. And the more I look at it, the more cakey it becomes, like around my chin. And it's really clinging to all like my little face baby hairs. Not a fan. So this for me is definitely a trend.